Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe is in hot water again over his previous remarks that we are one family on both sides of the Taiwan Strait. He apologized yesterday unreservedly for the remarks, saying they were spoken rashly. But today, he merely said he was sorry to those, quote, who were displeased. The changes in his tone and stance have been criticized by the KMT's Taipei mayoral nominee, as well as by DPP figures who are still seeking their party's nomination. Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe was at a Mother's Day event today, but it looked as if his heart wasn't in it. Yesterday, on a radio show, he made an unqualified apology for his previous remarks, we are one family on both sides of the Taiwan Strait, saying the words were spoken rashly and apologizing for upsetting the general public. But today, he qualified his statement, sparking debate in political circles. Because when I was at the Taipei Shanghai City Forum in Shanghai in 2015, I made that comment, and at the time, it seemed like there was no reaction in Taiwanese society, no protests. So now I say, if my words displeased you, I can only apologize. President Tsai Ing-wen had these words to say when asked about Ke Wenzhe. As a national capital, Taipei is one of our most important cities. At the same time, the central government needs to work together with local governments in many administrative areas. So we will consider how to arrange things in a way that's beneficial for the central administration. The DBP campaign committee is currently conducting critical consultations to decide whether to field a candidate in Taipei later this year. Ke's recent overtures towards the party have met with harsh criticism from those who want to challenge him for the leadership of Taipei. The DPP isn't going to concede to him, so he's panicking and getting ready to surrender. I think it's too late. Now we see that actually he doesn't have a conscience, he doesn't have any values, he doesn't have any core beliefs. I think this is a political figure with no core values. Under pressure, someone like that is the most likely to sell out Taiwan for his own benefit. Ke may have issued two apologies, but somehow, now even more than before, nobody's impressed, no matter what he says.